Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary, and in this video, I'll explain the taints and toleration in Azure Kubernetes cluster. So let's start. Taints and tolerations are used to manage pod scheduling action on the nodes, which means taints are the key value pairs which are applied on the node, while while tolerations are applied at the container level during deployment of the pods or the deployments. So if there is a matching toleration applied on a pod, then that pod can be scheduled on a node with a taint. If I make it more simple, pods can be scheduled on a node with a taint only when they have a matching toleration assigned. But why do we need the taints and toleration? There are multiple reasons. If in the Kubernetes cluster, you are running multiple node pools and one of the node pool is having the resource intensive nodes. Like an example of the ingress controller where lot of resources are utilized by the ingress controller pod and you don't want to run any test application on the same node where ingress controller is running otherwise it will start utilizing all the resources of the node so in that case we apply the taint on those nodes which are resource intensive and the second example is if there are two different projects running in on the same cluster and project a has a separate billing and they have the different applications which they want to run on specific node pool. However, the project B wants to run their application on, on an, another node pool. To manage the scheduling so that the project A application don't go into the wrong node pool, so the taints are applied on the nodes based on the projects. And the third one is particular application requires GPU support and you're using the node with the GPU support, then you don't want to waste the resources by running a pod which doesn't require a GPU support on it. So this is the reason we apply taint on that particular node. And the last one is there are different node pools, system node pool and the user node pool. In the system node pool, all the system pods like controller manager, a DNS and the network pods are running and you don't want to run any test pods on the system nodes. So it's always preferred to taint the system nodes with some specific key value pair so that the test pods can't be scheduled on it. So if you'll check on the screen, these are the snippets for how to assign taints and tolerations. So it's quite easy to assign the taint while creating the node pool. So the taint can be assigned using the command line as well as the portal. While creating the node pool, you have to provide the key value pair. As you can see here, skew is the key and GPU is the value. And no schedule is the effect, which I'll explain in the next slide. Similarly, you can configure the taints on a new node pool using the portal too. But there is a catch. Taint can only be assigned while creation of a new node pool. It can't be updated, it can't be removed. The tolerations are defined in the YAML file while deploying the pod or the deployment. So you can see the key value pair, key is Q, operator is equal, value is GPU, and effect is no schedule. So that means if a matching toleration is assigned, then particular pod can run on the node where the taint is defined. I'll show this in demo soon. So these are the three effect types which are defined while creating the taint or tolerations. So the first one is no schedule, which means if there are no matching toleration defined for a pod, then that pod can't be scheduled on a node with a taint. However, if a pod is already running on the node and the taint of the node is changed, then that node will not be evicted, which means no schedule is applied only on the new pods which are created. The second one is prefer no schedule. So in this case, scheduler manager will try to schedule the pod on the correct node. But if there is no matching toleration for the taints on the node, then it can still schedule the pod without the matching toleration, which means taint here is preferred, but not enforced. And the third one is no execute. This means if a pod is already running on the node and the taint on the node changes, then the pod will be immediately evicted, which means no execute is applied on the running pods as well as the new pod. So let's check this in demo. I'll be using the taints and the toleration on the same AKS demo cluster, which are deployed in the previous video. And you can find the link of that video in the description. So if you'll go to the node pools, there is one system pool which is created. And the system pool has a taint, which is critical ads only, which is true. That means if we are creating a pod or a deployment and having the toleration define these key value pairs, then only the pod will be scheduled on the system pool. So let's first create a new node pool. In node pool. 
will be a user mode operating system will be Linux and we'll deploy only one node and once we'll go to the optional settings there's an option of key value so let's put the environment as the test environment and the effect is no schedule that means if the same key value pair is not available in the toleration on the pod then the pod will not be scheduled so we can do the review and create and the node will be created however I want to show you using the command line so let's cancel this and go to the command line kubectl get nodes so there is a single node now so as you can see here this is az cli command where az aks node pool add i'm using the resource group name as the cluster resource group which is aks demo cluster resource group cluster name is aks demo cluster name of the node pool is taint pool and node pool taints are applied which is environment test no schedule node count is one and the vm size will be b2s let's run this command and the command has returned which means node pool creation should have started it will refresh the screen you can see the taint pool is creating i'll pause the video and i'll resume once it's ready so the taint pool is created now and if we'll go to the pool you can see it has a taint environment is equal to test and it's no schedule so that means if the toleration of environment is equal to test is not available on the pod then the, the pod will not be scheduled on this node now there are two nodes one for the system pool one for the taint pool let's create a pod with the wrong toleration and see if it gets deployed so the kind is pod name is app1 container is app1 and the key value is environment as prod however if we'll go to both the node pools the taint is not environment is equal to prod for one it's critical add-ons only and for the other its environment is equal to test so let's try this kubectl apply hyphen f pod dot yaml the command has returned successfully let's check the status of the pod it's pending let me describe the pod and check the pod is pending because it's failed scheduling and the reason is there are two nodes available one node has critical add-on stint another one has environment test and the toleration is not matching any of the node so this is the reason it's in pending and it should be pending still if you'll see it's in pending state let's delete this pod okay delete on app one and let's change the pod.yml file again and make it test and once we'll have the matching key value pairs in the toleration then the pod should be scheduled so let's apply this configuration command has returned let's check the status of pod and as you can see container is creating now which means anytime the pod should be running let's wait for a few seconds and see as you can see pod is running now because now the toleration has matched with the node which we have create which is taint pool let's see if the pod is deployed in that node or whether it's deployed in the system node and you can see that it's deployed on the taint pool there is only one node in the taint pool so it is deployed on that and it, the pod is running to summarize this video we first created the taint on the node pool with the key value pair 
and then we created one pod with the toleration of the same key value pair which we provided during the creation of the node pool in the taint and then the pod is successfully scheduled on the node so that is all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you